the grassroots or community level, sports can really be a way of creating an environment in which people can come together to work towards the same goal and, of course, show respect towards one another, keep people off the streets, also give them some form of activity to engage in, something that we've spoken about in every single province and community that we've been into. So to find out about sports development here in uh, this particular area, I'm now joined by Sueli Nkosi. He is the chairperson of the local football association. And let's find out what uh, the sports facilities are like, if any, here. Sueli, good to have you on the program. Welcome to Morning Live. Uh, thank you. Welcome. Uh, so we talk about sports facilities here in Mkondo. I, I have to be honest with you, I haven't really seen too much. Um, we've, I think I've seen a football field. That's, that's really it. I mean, is there anything else? Am I missing something? No, there's nothing. Uh, in fact, uh, there's a thing. There's no sporting field, in fact, here. In fact, you play in a sporting field. They, that, that's a, in fact, there's no grass field, in fact. Yeah. So. We show, we're showing it on screen right now. I mean, you can have a look at that. That's, so that's basically all that is here for the whole community. The whole community is like that. Yeah. So it's always like this. So there's no comfortable sports field and nothing at all, in fact. Do, do you speak... Do you speak to the sports ministry? I mean, do they give you um, do, do, do they do they give you any assistance when it comes to sports development and trying to build some infrastructure around here to help the community? No, there's nothing. No, we never try to to reach that level. In fact, to try to communicate with them. So we only have uh, it's second year I've been in a chairperson. So we were trying to reach that level, but from to uh, something to come to into in government in like funds there is nothing at all yeah yeah so so i mean even just to so so is there funding at all i mean is there's it no just funding. there's no nothing 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 so is it just the community that come together bring a football and go and kick it around that's, that's it that's the only thing we have to dig down in our own pocket to try to make some tournaments and all those things that's that's all in fact I can't talk about anything about sport in this place in some cases, so there's nothing at all we can talk about it. And you know, when, when we're always hearing about the, the issue of transformation in sports and the fact that um, sports is not moving fast enough and we have to go to grassroots level and we need to bring programs about, this is a prime example of, of, of an area where absolutely nothing is being done. And, and this is where there is talent. I mean, you see it. What is the talent like out here? It's, it's a, it's, it's, in fact, the, the, there's a talent here. Talent here. It's a basketball here. It's a cricket, but there's no playing field. I hear sometimes Minister of Sports talking about transformation, but the place like this, how can you make that transformation a place like this? So that's, that's our concern, in fact. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna ask you again. Have you tried to contact the sports department? No, we never tried. We never well, that's the first step. I think you really need to contact them in order to to let them know that you need their assistance. I suppose, you know, by not letting them know, they don't know. So, you know, instead of letting yourselves disappear into nothing, why not get hold of them, ask them, tell them, look, this is what we're dreaming about. This is what we want. Can you help us? I think that's the first step. Yes, I think so. We're going to try to do that, but I think even to to try to to reach our councillors, you know, to try to make something for us, but we can't reach them, and we don't reach them if we're trying to try to communicate with them. It's so hard to 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 get them. So that, that's our big concern. We try to talk to them, but yeah. there's nothing. So I, I see what you're saying is that you try and you try and reach the the councillors and the managers here, so they can help you on a national level, but they won't give you access to them. That's exactly. Well, and I'm hoping that by us speaking to us being here and and this getting out there the relevant authorities will hear this because I know that this will make the sports minister upset, you know, knowing that there are desperate people wanting things and yet they can't even get in touch with the department. Yes, of course. That's exactly me. That's exactly. Well, I hope this helps. I really do because I'm sure there are some superstars out here and stars in the making that we need to, to get them onto, onto those fields with proper, uh, proper equipment. Yes. In fact, we have some some great stars before there's a player here if can i say we have a suffice of okay that one was playing for ix cape town he's come from this place 
Nchogozi CN has come from this place. So we're so surprised with why this place is not developing in football. Yeah. So, in, in fact, in a, those playing fields, in fact, and, and in, in, what can I say, and facilities, in fact. Yeah. So that's our concern, why this is like this. Yeah. We leave it there and we hope that the word getting out there is going to get some help out here. Uh, Zueli Nkosi is the chair of the Driefontein Football Club. Uh, you can see, I mean, you, you can see for yourselves that there's just absolutely no help. There's no development. There's just a, um, two goalposts and not even grass on that soccer pitch. So that's something that really we need to see development here in these areas if we want to see transformation in sports. And that's, and that's, that's the reality. All right, uh, let's go to Pelesa. I know she wants to just say goodbye to us here on Morning Live. Life. and uh, uh, she can have a wonderful weekend as she goes out and celebrates with her friends and family for her 30th birthday. I, I, I can't actually hear you, Pelesa. There's a, pro a problem with my earpiece, but I just uh, I hope you have a fabulous day and, uh, yeah, just have a good time. Enjoy it, and I'll see you next week and give you that big birthday hug as well. You go out and you celebrate. Have a wonderful weekend.